Hello everyone. It's Tuesday. It's, it's Harp Tuesday. Tuesday. So I'm here with Joris Beats. Hello. And we're here at the World Harp Congress in Wales. And Joris is the designer of the Delta Harp, mm -hmm. the Selva Delta Harp, yeah. but his recent project is Harp E, mm -hmm. which is a really interesting instrument. And I think one of his goals was to solve sort of two problems, mm -hmm. the cost of getting into playing the harp, and also being able to play it in a, in a band or something and be heard. So he's going to tell us all about this amazing harp. Yeah, it's a, um, a project, like you said, to address quite a few uh, things. The main thing is like affordability and kind of making more people play the harp. Like we can see today at this um, harp congress, there are some people, but it's only a couple of hundred. Whereas we want thousands of people to be at the World Harp Congress because there are so many people playing it. We want new generations to be able to, you know, be a f to, to uh, have an affordable access to harps because otherwise they stay a little bit elitist. Um, you know, harps. Uh, and um, yeah, then there's the question of electric harps as well. Like, uh, they, these are typically quite expensive as well. And like you mentioned, I invented the Delta harp uh, years ago to make the harp cool and like versatile and that you can play it in bands, etc. But still, it has a price tag. And uh, yeah, this is an attempt to completely change that. So, what we did basically is take the uh, take, figure out what the key elements are of a good electric harp, okay. which is having good strings. So in this case, we have the salvi silk gut strings, oh the uh, or the uh, the achillecord silk gut. So really good string with long sustain, good tension and good tension distribution, etc. Uh, and we have the delta harp electronics, so the top end uh, electronics with a really good full bass response. So that's when when you play this harp. hear it has a really nice full-bodied sound, sound yeah. out of a minuscule harp which you would never expect it to have that kind of uh, level of sound um, yeah and then there's lots of other inventions about it so the you know in order to to just pay for those two high-tech components the rest needed to be redesigned completely to make it affordable yeah. so where we started was with the lever mechanism so that's a completely new patented revolutionary system I would Fantastic. say uh, I can, you know, if I, I'm, a I'm quite proud of this. So um, it means that um, instead of having, like in this case, 24 strings times uh, 24 individual quite expensive mechanisms, um, this is one integrated mechanism um, that instead of having so 24 times 10 metal parts, it has only two metal parts in total. So instead of 240, you go to 10 or two two parts, uh, and the rest is just made out of. Um, very sturdy, very simple, this kind of plywood beach material. Yeah. And the strings, uh, because of this mechanism, which is really uh, you know, a, a different thing, the strings sit in the middle of the harp, okay. which means that the strings are not at the, at the outside of the harp, trying right. to bend the bend. harp. Yeah, 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 and therefore the whole harp can suddenly be constructed out of very light, simple material, because you don't need, need thick, expensive wood becomes much lighter therefore and the whole construction becomes as, as simple to assemble uh, simple materials etc so hugely reducing the cost and we designed it so uh, that yeah like you can see here that the um, the harp can come as a IKEA kit, kit. yeah and as a so self-assembly can... kit and that means of course all kinds of other things so it means that you can um, tailor it for instance so Ooh. before putting it together you can give it your own color yeah. so the the frame does come coated um, okay. so it is protected from the weather etc sure. but it's water-based paint that you can still add uh, other paint to so then you can like in this example you can give your own uh, expression in that Fantastic. then you can self-assemble it you assemble it with just like you know an IKEA piece of furniture yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a little allen key the whole thing uh, and then that same key is also the tuning key so as you can see the the harp is really turned upside down, literally. So it tunes down here. Tunes down here instead of at the top, yeah. yeah. And um, so you feed, it's very easy to string, you feed it through and then here you, it goes through the hole and then you tune it and it's strung. And then, yeah, all kinds of other... Well, I, uh, was, I was really taken by the stand, the yeah. way that it's set up, that it actually can tilt back like a sort of what we think of as a standard harp. Yes, yeah, exactly. So I can show you a little bit. So this is in its kind of most standard position you can you can lean it back of course and if you want to for different age groups you can uh, move it down very easily to 
Are you like for eight year olds or for six year olds even? You just put it all the way down here. There we go. And uh, you've got a mini harp suddenly. You know, if you sit really low by the ground, you can play it. Or as an adult, you can put it in this position and put it on top of a table. Okay. And then you can play it standing. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. you can imagine putting it on the table here, then it's full adult uh, height, you know. And can you also wear it then? Exactly. So yeah. like the Delta Harp, you can um, I have to be careful with my mic, I yeah, guess, yeah. but um, I can try and show you like this. So just you're very much like you would with the with the Delta Harp, you can put it around your neck and then you suddenly have your hands and feet free to walk around, do other stuff. And you can play it uh, like like the you would. Yeah, 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 the yeah, sideways yeah. Uh, way. So like. And one of the cool things of this mechanism as well that you can bend the pitch, so you can work with microtonality and pitch shifting. So while you play. And because it's electric, electric, of course, you can do all kinds of other stuff with it. So, for instance, uh, an octaver, you know, so you can add this extra bass. And if you want to, you can then, of course, with, you know, any kind of uh, effects pedal that has a looper, you can start looping things. I can show you a little bit like that. So, so now you've got a bass line going. And then, for instance, um, a little wah-wah on top of that. And because you've got your feet free, you can easily, you know, use all these pedals. So I've got this foot here. It's nice, eh? So and there's loads of other effects, of course, you can uh, you can put on it. And what I find myself is that because of all these different ways of being able to hold the harp, it invokes all kinds of different ways of playing as well. So when you, you know when you're seated, you do the more classic, uh, you know, harp movements. When you're standing like this, automatically you think, ah, oh, you know, I've got my hands and my feet free to do other stuff as well. So I start playing around with staccatos and bending pitch and putting all kinds of effects over it and really use one, like maybe a smaller amount of spring strings, but a lot more expression. And then, yeah, there's, you know, there's, I've seen people also put it like this and put an extra strap and then wear it more like a harness. I'm not a big fan of that position, to be honest, because I'm more used to this. But another nice one I've seen is, uh, you know, people sitting down, like the same as you would with the Delta as well. And you suddenly have a, uh, you know, a, uh, let me switch this one off. You suddenly have more of a, you know, like a, like how you would play a guitar by the campfire or something or you, you know it's like a, a thing you would do on uh, you know for a couple of hours in a row while jamming with other people and uh, you, you sit really close to the strings as well so you can really try you know you know you kind of work it more like maybe a cantella or something or something where you have this kind of uh, you know direct contact and playfulness with the, with the strings themselves yeah, yet another way of uh, playing it, yeah. So it's really, uh, yeah, the aim is to have uh, a super versatile thing of a high quality uh, in a very simple and very affordable uh, instrument. Yeah. So I think you can get it in sort of two or three flavors, right? Yeah. You completely IKEA kit? Yeah, yeah. So in terms of kits, there are three kits. Yeah. Uh, so the DIY, 100% DIY kit, yeah. then you can get it uh, yeah, you can get it uh, pre-assembled, pre uh, but not strung yet. Ah. And that's a little bit more expensive, but it's only half an hour to put it together. Sure. So that also doesn't cost us that much time. What is very time consuming always with harps and any instrument is a stringing. Ah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, if you buy it completely pre-strung and tuned and regulated, then it's a bit more, but sure. still a lot more, yeah, yeah. a lot cheaper than any other harp uh, on the market. And yeah, we, we encourage people to do this, um, you know, to do the DIY uh, version because building your own, in own instrument really it creates yeah, a connection connection. Yeah. connection with the instrument and you know exactly what goes where how it works so if ever, if you want to ever hack it or do something different with it you know how to do it and there's like other nice uh, extras like you can assemble this harp completely mirrored so for left-handed left harp yeah, if you're left-handed yeah. 
I, with the delta harp and other harps, I, usually, I got a lot of questions from people. Oh, can you not make a left-handed harp because I'm left-handed, etc. That's and awesome. It's, yeah, and this one you, you just mirror the whole assembly and then you've got a left-handed harp. And you can, well, like I said, you can add these other colors to it and you could, you know, it's really easy to, uh, to drill holes in it and uh, stick stuff to it so you can add MIDI uh, sure. buttons or any kind of thing that you would like uh, to add to it. And I've heard people that they, they, they thought, oh, actually, I, I'd like a, a bit wider soundboard, so I just attach a bit of wood to it on the side, etc. And then you paint it and you don't see that it's not originally part of the harp. So a bit like uh, the IKEA hacking uh, community as well. I'm really hoping, we're already seeing that people starting to, you know, do their own, uh, give it their own flavor and do their own hacks to it. So yeah, that's what we encourage. And it would be great fun if, uh, yeah, if lots of people now start to play the harp. And we've already seen uh, in Holland, for instance, that uh, now there are, uh, you know, there are harps there. when there are harps, there will be people playing it. So we've seen uh, hundreds of children now in, in, through one particular charity in Amsterdam uh, that would never have played the harp. They suddenly had access to this because of you know us making these harp very cheaply for them. And uh, now we have this 300 new harpists that would never have played the harp. And that's of course, uh, yeah, the, the grand aim is that in a couple of years time there would be thousands of people in a place like this instead of uh, up to a few hundreds. And that's, yeah, you know, the whole, you, you break the cycle of, oh, it's expensive and therefore we'll, I'll give my kid a violin first and then the kid needs to scratch a violin and, you know, whether, whereas if you give a kid the choice between a harp and a violin, lots of children will uh, choose a harp because it immediately sounds nice, etc. Yeah, so that's the hope, that's the project and I uh, hope many people join in. Thank you so much for sharing all of that. A really quite an amazing harp. And Thank you so quite much. Quite an amazing for, project. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's fantastic to try and get as many harps as possible into as many hands as possible. Exactly. So that's the aim. That's the aim. Yeah. Thank that's, you so much. Uh, and I hope everyone collaborates with us and to make this uh, like a global movement of the exactly. uh, new harpist generation. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank Good you so much. You can find out a lot more about this harp at the Harp E website, harp-e.com. Thanks so much to George for taking the time to talk about this, this very cool and fascinating new design. I hope you enjoyed this on-location edition of Harp Tuesday, and I'll see you in two weeks for another episode. Cheers.